in production we don't have support for the logging purpose so that's why we need to log all exception in log file so basically we use it for uh, to make the look in make that environment in local and test it and push it once again and solve the exception so for that purpose how we are going to log this uh, in old scenario we need to write try catch everywhere and uh, generate log for it but uh, spring would provide this control advisor which just give you the generated exception you so you can log log generated exception here directly so i am using logger okay so this is old way basically uh, what i am doing here so it's a logger it generated log and you can log any kind of exception here okay log dot info oh, sorry uh, yeah no info okay so we can log any kind of exception this way but i don't want to log this log like this i want to use the annotation so i am removing it and i am removing it once again so we have annotation called slf4j okay sorry slf4j okay i am using the annotation this annotation give me the instance of the log so i am using instance of the log directly here so log dot it's a error so error and uh, it's what generating uh, i am writing message called exception occurred exception occurred okay and after that and i am going to trace the exception here which is re so this is the new way so anywhere exception occurred it going to log in this way you don't need to write try catch in your whole project okay that's what it is i can copy this code everywhere if i want to or i can uh, write one method for it and do it with that but yeah i am doing it by copying and pasting and after that you are uh, you successfully add this log we need to log files so to generate now let's log into the log file basically to add logs into the log file we need to uh, we need to write one properties here so it's logging dot file dot name okay so this is the property we need to use and you need to give the file name here basically so file name is uh, uh, server dot logs now let's run the project see uh, just while running the project look at this side one file is generated here okay maybe not but let me refresh it yeah server dot log is generated here so what i do here now i am what i am doing now i am hitting the endpoint which caused the exception response status exception and which uh, and we will let to check that that exception is going to log in server.log file or not so yeah this is log file uh, look at this server.log and this is the log generated by our server for now okay so this is exception occurred log generated here you can copy it paste it and uh, you have multiple editors you can read it so my favorite reader is uh, visual studio code you can use it there is some extension you need to add and just read the log yourself it is really cool okay thanks for watching